Hello, loves. Welcome to Let's Build. <sighs> and welcome to the final part of the Arts and Crafts Store. The last build, the last video of Strangerville. It's a bittersweet moment, this. I've really loved enjoying. Really loved enjoying? Really enjoyed building Strangerville for Let's Build the Worlds. It's been a really, really fun uh, world to do, especially with all the characters and stuff. But I'm ready to spread my wings and fly to another land. And um, as I said before, what we're going to start doing from now is kind of just going all over the different worlds, Willow Creek, Mount Kamarebi, and building here and there and just getting characters in that way. And then once I see that a world has kind of got a few builds on, we'll concentrate on that a little bit more. Um, that's just the way I want to do with this. I really do. So this will be the final part for Strangerville today. And then after the new year, what I will do is get the save file out for you guys. So the Strangerville save file will be coming out in the new year. So you guys are going to be looking forward to that. Now, as I said... I'm going to be off for the Christmas break from Christmas Eve. I have a Design Me Devon build coming tomorrow and then a little cheeky special video coming on Christmas Eve for you guys. But um, yeah, I've had a, done a few changes in the house since last time. I've made a few more details and I listened to a lot of or read a lot of your comments about where the necklaces were to be found. I found them. It's all good. So let's have a little look at what we did, shall we? So here we are, my loves, back at the craft store. I will show you what we've done to the outside around here since I have just made this space make a little bit more sense as a kind of crafting area. Um, and also we've put some more kombucha and stuff in the store. I didn't put it in there last time. So they do sell their own kombucha as, lot, as well as their own like honey drink as well which I've made apparent by using some beehives here. I've put a mixture of plants and herbs and stuff that obviously haven't been planted yet. We did have planters here, but one of you guys said that um, part of their culture is the fact that they love things to be connected to the earth and planted into the earth, which just made my heart very sing. Um, so that's what we've did here. We're just going to plant everything into the earth here, minus the kind of these ones, but it's the Sims, it's fine. I've also furnished these two little huts here as well. So obviously we've uh, got this room here, which is for the child. I'm going to, I will promise I will try and get their names right um, in the future, but I haven't had time to practice today. <laughs> but I gave it a good shot last time and you guys seem to enjoy that. So that's all good. But yeah, just really basic room again. It's just got everything that a child would need. And then we've got Nan's room as well, or Grandma's room. Um, again, same sort of thing, just a little bit basic, but beautiful colours, textures, fabrics, homemade looking furniture once again. I'm thinking about actually putting in a ceiling fan in here. I think that would really, really suit this room in itself. So I might put that there and just shuffle the light a little bit further that way. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a nice ceiling fan just to keep it cool, you know. Little easel on the outside, change the stairs as well. The stairs were a bit weird. Um, do need to do a little bit of landscaping behind there, but everything is here. Everything is working. Um, anything else out here? I've did this little area here. So this is like a little crafting kind of nook where I would imagine, um, the grandma and maybe some of our elder friends or even a daughter comes and helps do some crocheting or, um, rug making. So yeah, I've left that apparent there. Stunning. The shop. What we've done different in here, I've put obviously the kombucha kind of like shelving unit as well with where all the homemade drinks are sold. Um, a till, this is kind of like overlapping into the, we needed a till. You got a few of you guys said, don't forget to put a till in. Um, and the necklaces, oh, they've changed color. <laughs> Why they, they were, they were blue. Why are they green? Why are they green now? I'm not going to like, I'm just going to see past it. So I've put in two more of these and then obviously some handmade necklaces in there. What else have I done? I didn't think to... Oh, some um, wind chimes, some bamboo wind chimes. We've put a few of them in the shop as well. So I just think all in all, this shop looks pretty 
full, full of personality. Lots of homemade, handmade objects. Oh, some baskets of yarn as well. They sell their own yarn, what they might loom up, you know. And what else did we do? I think what I did furnish-wise in here was the, obviously the bathroom um, in from the main entrance here. Um, and the hallway coming through, I've put a few pieces in there. And the same out here for this hallway here as well. So what we're going to be doing today is doing the kitchen, the living area, the dining room, the outside space as well, where they do like sort of cookouts. And I'm going to put like a hot pot out here, I think. And the master suite upstairs as well. We'll furnish the master suite upstairs as well. So yeah, as soon as you see this on YouTube, this build will be on the gallery. Um, <clears throat> always remember to use the Devon Bumpkin hashtag. And always remember to put move objects on before you place any of my builds down. Okay, so we need a classic looking kitchen in a warmer wood tone, I think. So... I think we're going to go for the shaker style kitchen from Jungle Adventure. Is it from Jungle Adventure? No, Parenthood, sorry. <sighs> Jungle Adventure. Jungle Adventure could never. Um, Yeah, yeah, we'll go for this one. We'll go for this one. So there is an archway here, so I need to be careful of that. So we need a nice little end piece there. And then maybe I could put a bin down below it there. Let's get rid of live edit and just put a nice bin. Just a nice. Oh, that one doesn't make sense. This one here. There we go. Stunning. Yes, feeling it. Um, where are we going to put the fridge? I think the fridge should maybe go on this side here. So we can just completely deck this out in countertops. Um, but how are you, my loves? Happy bloody Tuesday to you. It's all go, go, go. It is a massive rush for the Christmas festivities, if you do celebrate. Um, I think all of my family are panicking and getting stuff done. I think one of the main reasons is everyone's a bit worried about the latest update from the government. Um, so people are panic buying now and it's whether or not things are going to be left for people to buy for Christmas. We're doing the food shop in a minute and I'm not looking forward to it in the slightest. Really, really not looking forward to it. But it's got to be done, you know. It has got to be done. Right, you there. I'm going to use that fridge as well. We're going to run out of money in a minute. So I'll make sure to get some more money in. And we'll use that one there. Do I want to do another one of these? I think I do. I think I'm going to do another. No, I'm not. I'm going to do. <sighs> Ooh. Could I get like a little breakfast bar in here? Hmm. I'm thinking I might be able to. But only if I use the corner from there. And then I can do two cheeky ones here. One and a two. And a one, two, three. I mean, that's it kind of in the way <laughs> of the fridge now. So what I might do is move the fridge to there. And then put another one of these like here instead. Yeah, we'll do that. That makes a little bit more sense. And then it's, the fridge has got free movement with a couple of bar stools here as well. So bar stools, I think maybe the island living ones would work well in here. Um... All these could work, actually. Thinking more island living, though. Like these. Yes, let's get that grid off and see if we can match in this tone. I mean, that tone doesn't look too bad of it at all. That one's a bit better, but I want to go darker. Just slightly darker. Oh, we could pop a bit of blue in. I mean, it's got blue on the curtains above. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll pop some blue in here. Lovely. Okay, so we've got everything that we would need. I'm going to try and get some cupboards in but because of the amount of windows i've got in here um maybe i could get rid of this window would that look weird from the other side no it wouldn't really yeah we're going to get rid of this window and then that gives me enough space to be able to put in some cupboard space which i think would be needed we're going to sell you thank you very much um and parenthood oh god the cupboards and parenthood i can't it's that blue glass for me I can't deal with it. What was that? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Hmm. <laughs> um, and maybe using one of these as well. Like that one there. And then I could do a corner piece. Yeah, I should be able to. Oh, quite lovely. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Sink wise, I think the sink maybe should go here. I mean, it would be better by the window. But I'm not going to do that. In fact, you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to 
get rid of you. Take you, put the oven on this side, and then put the sink here. I think that would make a little bit more sense. So I'm going to use a smaller cupboard up here as well. Oh, stunning. Stunning. And then put a sink in this bit here as well. Uh, we'll just go for a generic looking sink. Um, Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. That is fine. And we'll move you in there as well, love. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. <sighs> I'm not feeling the bar now like these. Um, Let me find something. I've got something in mind. I hope that it will work. Yeah, I just prefer that. This is like the tea dresser thing. Tea for two dozen shelves. So um, I would imagine all of these having different like health benefits. Benefit? Benefit. Benefit. Benefits and stuff. So I'm going to use this in here as well. The wood tone doesn't match in perfectly, but I'm going to oversee it. I'm going to overlook it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then I'm going to put some more cupboard space in, I think. Can I do these a little bit shorter now that we're not using that? It may look weird from the other side, but I don't care. I don't give a shit. Right. Um, That one there is supposed to be there. I can move that door along a little bit. And I'll use a normal size one on this side. Ah, oh, so. Yeah, cute. Yeah, cute. I can move that door slightly there. I think I really want to raise it up because it does look a little bit too short compared to this side. Unless I move these down. No, 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 no. We're going to move it up. I just wanted that to be at the same height as that, but we, we, we can't do that. We can't. It looks weird and we're not for it. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. Little tea shelf going on there. I think I'm going to do a nice rug in here as well. Um, Lovely. Just a nice square one. There we go. I used a blue one just to tie a bit more blue in, seeming as we've got blue on the blinds up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Obviously, it needs a um some detail and stuff put into here, but we'll do that a little bit later. I think what I'm going to do is move on to the dining table in here. Um, do we need an access point there? Yeah, we kind of do because the only way to get in to the dining room would have been through the kitchen. But I would like another access point here, which is why we put this here. But it's kind of like eating into the wall. And that's the only place I can put it, really. Because there, the bloody banister pokes through. And that winds me up. What about if I use a different one? Let's have a look. Yeah, we've gone for a square one there. These have all got arches on, but we've gone for a square. It just fits in better, that one. I'm for it. We're going to leave that. Okay, so dining room. I'm thinking like a big family table. Um, So let's go for this one here from Get Together. Yeah, nice big family table. Now, we've got to remember that they do need to get in from places. So I'm going to shuffle this around nicely. And then we're going to use some kind of the homemade looking chairs, I think. Maybe mix them up a bit as well. So use a few different ones. Um, maybe one in a bit of a brighter colour. Oh, yeah, I'm for that. These are slidey doors. so We don't need to worry about them not being able to get in, really. Oh, are they going to be able to get through that? I'm unsure if they will. Hmm. Hmm. I'm ifing or amming now. It's going to be a tight squeeze, loves. I think I might need to shorten the table down. We're going for this table from Island Living. I think it just suits it. Is it from Island Living? Yeah, it is. We'll go for that one. And then I'm just going to put four chairs around. <laughs> so it's there's not gonna there's not going to be enough room in here because of the shape of this room. So I'm only going to do four chairs. Sadly, I would have liked more, but we can't, you know, and sometimes... You've just got to go with what you can do. You really do. Yeah, one like that. And another handmade -y looking one as well. Like this one. Can we get you in a better colour though? Um, Just something a bit... Oh, a blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cute. Yeah, I do think so. It's a shame that we can't make this air. Do you know what? Do you know what? Screw you. Screw you. They're going to have to get into the dining room this way. I just don't like having that against the wall. Um, The table against the wall. And it's kind of like I'm constricted because there's three openings here. So they're going to have to get into the dining room through the kitchen. It's just got to be done. 
just got to be done because we want them to be able to still use this spot. I'm um, still be able to get in here, but whatever. Whatever. Here we go. Right. Okay. And a little rug here as well. I used this rug to death. Because, oh, let me maybe use a different one instead. But I do use that rug to death. Oh, that one would look better under the table. It would. Oh, it does. Oh, it looks smashing. What about if I size you up again? Oh, it's a bit big that way. Can I like turn it like that? No. <laughs> Do you remember this like trend in The Sims when it was like to keep all of your your rugs at like an angle and stuff like that would make me fume in real life. I don't, I don't understand why I used to do that. Don't understand why I used to do that. And I'm doing another trend that I never used to do. And that's mixing chairs up. I used to do that all the bloody time. All the bloody time. Yeah, no, that's cute. That's cute. But I think we need to bring it down here. I still think this needs to be central now that I've done it. They should be able to get through the either side there as well. Should be able to get either side there. And then I'm going to do a nice dresser here. Okay, we've gone for this dresser. And I player tested this as well. And they can get through it, which is good. Um, I've put them all out in the garden. All doing their separate tasks. Bit of woodworking. Some gardening. Getting those planted. And then we've got this little one on the swing as well. Having the time of his life. It really is. Um... So, yeah, I think that's looking quite nice. Um, again, I'll add some more details in there in a minute, but I'm just going to keep that generically placed until I've done the uh, the main living room. And then we'll go through and put some more details in as well everywhere. So living room, I would reckon they're more of an outside kind of family, but I will pop in a ceiling fan in here. It's a shame that these fans like don't have lights on them i always i think i've always thought that's kind of a missed opportunity with those objects that they don't have lights on them very annoying i mean you could make your own but i just can't be asked love to be honest i really can <laughs> hate the fact of how chunky the bases are on these they, they remind me of those horrible base game saucer lights that we got disgusting anyway so sofa wise again i wanted to look kind of handmade i don't want to go for this because we've used that already maybe actually we're going to go for these ones from jungle adventure yeah i think they look nice it's a shame with this living room that it hasn't got much kind of like glass in here the only like windows are on the front there and they're quite small i really wish i made them a bit bigger but as I said, they're more of an outside family anyway. So I reckon they would spend most of the time out here when we're going to do the cooking area and stuff. Um, because there's quite a few of them. We've got the love outdoors trait. I think three of the, all the adults have actually got that. I can't remember though. Okay. Okay. We're going to give you a cheeky rug. I, was re I really love this one here with this house. It just fits the vibes for me. Oh, I like that colorway as well. Actually, I didn't think I was going to like that then. But I do. I honestly do. So I'm going to use it. Does this come in a matching armchair? It does, doesn't it? It's this one. But, um, oh, we could use that one there. I didn't think we were going to be able to use that one. But I love the orange with the blue. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, we'll place that there. Maybe getting in a rocking chair in here for Granny as well. Nah, do you know what? We'll just do, we'll just do this armchair here. I think that's fine for Gran. But as I said, they spend most of the times outside. So, okay. Um, TV. Yeah, we'll put a TV in the room. We'll give them a nice flat screen on the wall as well. Um, yeah, nice. Round about there. How much is that? Bloody hell, two and a half thousand simoleons. They're so bloody expensive, the TVs, aren't they? So expensive. Um, what's the difference between the wall price? Oh, nothing. They're exactly the same. Okay. I always forget about this object here as well. I should use this object more for the TVs. I always tend to go for the this one here. I mean, I think that one would suit in here a little bit better, actually. So, yeah, we'll do that. I know I could use the stand one, but I'm just going to keep it like that. It's fine. They're both the same price. We're not missing out. Yes. This light's like weird off to the side. I hate it. So I think, in fact, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to use two fans instead. I didn't like the two light moment that we had going on in the beginning there. So I'm going to use two fans instead in here. 
to keep the room extra no non-moist. <laughs> um, and behind here, I'm going to put some bookcases. Just some nice generic looking handmade again looking bookcases. Oh, this one would work. This one would work. Lovely. I know it's got Japanese writing and stuff on them, but I think it would still look quite nice. And we'll go for a bit more of a darker wood just to bring in that darker wood from the sofas that we've used. Yes. Yes, I'm for it. Um, and then behind here, I'm going to do use that. Where are you? This one, again, in the dark. Is that too dark? I hate all the, the wood tones never look like they match. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> and they come from the same pack as well. And then a light here as well. Like just in, like a nice lantern that, oh, I forget nothing goes on this bloody thing. Why make a side table where things don't fit on it? I don't understand. I really don't. Why was that not seen, you know? Why did they not think... Oh, do you know what? That might need a snap point on it, considering as it is a bedside table where bedside lamps would usually go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, slow. Yeah, little flow. Yeah, for that. Okay, I'm thinking a plant here. A plant over to this side. Don't want to do too much detailing yet, but I'm going to put a plant over here. Like that. Good old faithful. Oh, maybe one of you in here as well. You would look smashing. In fact, you know what? You would look even... Oh, oh, I like them together. Well, that was an ac that was an accident. A happy little accident. <laughs> Just like Bob Ross used to say, you know. Um, But maybe if I change the green for the other green. Oh, look at that. I've made a new plant. Oh, I'm very proud of myself. There we go. That there. And... A small desk for this corner over here. I'll put a little laptop on it. Maybe it's the little place where they can come and keep up with their finances from the shop and things. So I'll use one of these. They have got the darker one. Lovely. And then I'll put a nice office chair just on it, you know. Just a nice little cheapy looking office chair would be lovely. Um, He says as he goes further up the list. Where's that just like generic looking one? Oh, there it is. Found it. Yeah, there we go. And we'll put a little laptop on it as well. Doesn't need to be anything too fancy. Standard portable computer. 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 Okay. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, and I want a couple of little buffets or ottomans. We could use one of them because that looks kind of handmade. Will they be able to get to the bookcase there? No, they won't. So I'll move it onto this side instead. And plonk them there. Uh, let's get a better colourway. I mean, that's brighter colours. Yeah. Yeah, stunning. And do you know what? Instead of a coffee table, I'm going to pretend that they use this as a coffee table instead. So I'll do a couple of these. Like there and there. In the pink as well. I'm, on, I'm going to get some of the tapestries from the shop up here. Ooh, what colours can we go for, though? Um, oh, that's a nice one in here. Yeah, we'll use one of those there. Lovely. And another one. Another consonant, please, Carol. <laughs> I think only a few people will understand what I meant by that. <laughs> and if you didn't know, it was from a show called Countdown. That is still going, I think. Just not with Carol. Carol Vorderman is no longer there. And I do love a bit of Carol Vorderman. <laughs> she's, a, she's an iconic queen. Yeah. No, this is looking better. I think we need another one of these here, though. Um, And then what I'll put on top of it is um just a little pile of books. Ah, so. And then some more plants. Plants all down by the side here. A little one of you. Lovely. Um, one of you up there, considering you're the only plant that would actually fit on there. And I'll recolor that to that one. Stunning. And one more. One more for one more. We'll just pop a little one down there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Now that fills me with what I want. 
It's what I want. I think I need to find something for here. Oh, perfect. One of his wooden sculptures. Lovely. Oh, that looks smashing. Yeah, no, that's a cute little living room. I like that. Let's give me all the vibes. That's got enough detail in it, to be honest with you, compared to the kitchen and dining room. Um, so what I'm going to go and do is just throw a bit more detail everywhere and then I'll show you what we did. Okay, so I've detailed it up a little bit more. Put on this little bit on the table there, some lovely plates. This bit here that I've used in all of the houses in Strangerville. <laughs> I just think it suits it. Tea machine. We've got rid of these cabinets as well. It was just looking too cluttered there. So I've used the actual little tea cabinet as well there. Just some few little trinkety bits. All up on the side. Some kombucha. Some medicinal things. Um, I've put vents everywhere as well. Vents where they kind of make sense. Vents that make sense. Um... Yeah, and that's it. I just think it's really, really worked. I think it's worked. And I think what we'll do now is just make a start on this little outdoor eating area here. Now, I saw this older lady in a Navajo clan and she was making fry bread, which is almost like, I don't know. It reminded me of like um, uh, tortilla, tortilla. That it looked like tortilla the way that it was stretched through and they were frying it and having it with some kind of meat. I don't know what the meat was. Um, and they were cooking it outdoors on a grill. So I'm going to put a nice little grill out here, I think. I think that's what I want to do. But I'd love to make it look like a little bit more homemade-y, the grill. I just wish this didn't have so much of like a pattern around the edge to this one. Because this would have been kind of perfect. So I'm thinking about using this out here. Now the grills they were using, it was on the floor. I mean, I could use this one. Yeah, let's use that instead. Yes, let's use this one here. Oh, that could be quite cute, actually. This could be quite cute to have this. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So we have this nice little grilled area out here where they can all just sit and gather around like a family. I think what I'll do rather than doing like a table is I'll have loads of chairs kind of sat around in a circle together. Um, a bit more of a comfy chair rather than a dining chair. Maybe something along the lines of like these kind of things, you know? Mm, these would work really well. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's better. And then a nice rug underneath it again. In fact, I'm going to use this one here in the blue as well. Yes. And then I'm going to do a nice little circle table in the middle. Little. <laughs> Laughing in Sims 4. I'll just do a, one of these then. <laughs> I've we need a bigger one than that, really. So maybe I could do a bit more of an oblong, rectangular shape instead. Just hate the legs to that. They always remind me of, like, alien spider legs or something. <laughs> but I think that'd be all right. With some nice candles on. Now, I did use those big candles in here somewhere. Yeah, these. They would suit this out here. Oh, yes. Do you know what I mean? But they could come and sit around as a family and... They could share stories of their... Do you know I'm just for it? I really am. Yeah, we'll do that. I am going to push this in slightly there. Just so there's a bit more room to meander and manoeuvre around. And I'm not going to do too much else near here. Um, I think it's got what it needs out here now. But I think that would be perfect. We couldn't have a perfect grill like I saw them using in the videos I was watching. But um, this is on the floor and I just think the gameplay with that would make a lot more sense than having it on a barbecue. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to go for that. I am. Okay. So finally, let's get on with the master bedroom. Okay. So the parental haven. Now, I don't want this to be too overly uh, detailed. I don't want it to be too overly cluttered with things. The bed I'm thinking would probably be the one from Island Living. Either this one which looks great. I love that. Or the one with the kind of um, thing around it. No, we'll go for this one. I think this one's just a little bit more low key. So I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to use a mixture of the stuff that we've used throughout the house as well. So the Island Living um, bedside tables. I think they would be the perfect ones to use. If I can find them, I can see. Where are you, darling? Yeah. 
won't took you how won't tell you how long that took me to find. That was kind of embarrassing, and I hope that I managed to edit that out because I was scratching my face and everything in the process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. And I think here, just nice two nice dresses. I'm going to use the island living ones again. Um, oh, maybe these actually. Mm, no, they've got too much of a Polynesian edge to that. Um, I think we'll go for a bit more of this kind of vibe here. Now, again, it's trying to get in a matching tone with these woods. It's like, what are they supposed to go with, like, out of these? Any? Any at all? Any? No? It's, it's going to be that one, isn't it? No, that looks awful. Do you know what I mean? Like, with the objects, they just, they all come from the same set. They just don't make sense. I've said this all the time with the island living stuff. It's beautifully made, the stuff. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't go with anything. They don't match. They don't go together. It's fucking annoying, to be perfectly truthful. <sighs> right, so pff, these two. It's just going to have to be the way. What I think I'm going to do is do that there. That one there. And I'm going to do a little makeup station moment here. I think um, this is where... Um, the mum likes to get ready, braid her hair, or braid her mother's hair. Oh, I love that. I do, I love that. No, it doesn't go. <laughs> I'm like, I love that, that's lovely. No, it just doesn't match. You're not staying. Goodbye. <laughs> You're not staying. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that one goes nicely in here. Okay. Okay, it's a massive room. I really didn't want this room to be this big, really. Because I know I wasn't going to be putting a lot of detail in here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is add a big rug in here. Just to disguise the fact that this room will be quite empty. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a lot of the tapestries on the wall and stuff, maybe. Um, no, that's not the rug. I'll find the rug. Oh, we'll use the mixture of these. Yeah, we'll do the three rugs there so it kind of softens the room nicely yes yeah that's cool that's cool um i'm not going to do much on the top here definitely not going to do some christmas holly because that would be weird um we'll put a plant there and that one from university on this side um let me just darken down that pot a little bit i think not with a face on love we're not in that kind of mood today yeah oh i like it yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think even though the windows are up really, really high, I still think adding in... Excuse me, excuse me. I still think adding in some of these would be nice, but maybe not in that colour. Maybe, a, yeah, in that sort of tone would be better. Just to, again, bring a bit more detail. And I could. There's a lot of wall space for some more tapestries. So I'm going to bring up some of the tapestries in here. I'll do one either side. And then that puts a bit of detail on it then as well. So I'm for that. Um, what tone are we going to go for in here? That one. And then another one on this side. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it's fine. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Is that, are they equal? They are. They are. Um... And I'm thinking about bringing some more candles up here as well. I do love a candle. And I love these in this house. I just think it suits it. I think it suits it. So I'm going to use them. Oh, look how, oh, it's nice. Yeah, this is coming out a lot nicer than what I thought it was going to come out this room. But again, as I said, I don't want to put too much detail in here. So I'm going to leave it where it is. And I'll furnish that bathroom off of camera. Because we've got a lot to look at. It's done. The final build of Strangerville, my loves. It's complete. And here she is, the arts and crafts store. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to even say. we. I put a fire exit in that side and remembered that the door was up too high. So I've put um, steps down from it. But there wasn't... A, we couldn't put the fence here, so I've just used this one from Debug. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> here we go. Into the car park. So it's got everything you need. Some, uh, vending machines, a little food stall. Got it right that time. Um, into the actual main store itself. The little general store area. Where you can buy all your bits and bobs. And then into the gift shop kind of area. With all these handmade necklaces. And 
um, crafting bits, tapestries, crystals to collect, wood, working objects, like wind chimes, um, bird houses. You know where we're going. How cool. I do like this shop. The shop's probably my favorite part. <laughs> probably my favorite part of the build itself. What is that poking through the fucking wall? Um... Who invited you? Why was there a light in my wall? I bet there was someone out there who saw that right in the beginning and was what? What is he? What is that? What is that poking through the top there? Is that trim? That's trim from a roof. I really don't want to have to do that, but I don't want nothing poking in there. Oh, I'm just going to have to let it. Just going to have to let it. You know, Sims. What more can we say? Right, into the back garden. We'll go to the back garden first. So. We've got their little cookout area, the little grilling area, their little family catch-up moment. I can imagine them being out there at night. It would be lovely. Um, the elders meeting area, I can imagine. Let's get rid of... What was that? Piss off. Piss off. There we go. Um, <laughs> the elders meeting area with a disappeared ceiling. And that one's right on the edge there. I'll make sure to sort that out um, before I put it up on the gallery. The little chicken pen. Got a cheeky chicken pen. Only for chicken chickens. Um, the woodworking area and crafting area. Got solar power everywhere. The gardening area with all of the bees, beehives, little swing set. And then obviously we've got the bedrooms here too. Well, two bedrooms. Lovely. And one there as well. Little children's bedroom. Stunning. Um, somebody asked me to make them into like traditional huts and I really wanted to do that but I think I'm going to leave that for another build because we have Oasis Springs to build yet and I've got plans there so I'll leave that for Oas Oasis Springs um, we're going to go in through the front door it only makes sense let's go around the build stunning into here in through the front door so as you come in lovely little hallway nice with some rich earthy tones got a bathroom in here with a full tub um swing around to that side but we'll go into here first so we've got the kitchen lovely so it's got all their tea making bits and lovely jubbly and then into the dining room cute and player tested so they can get in in there even though it makes it look like they can't um through the hallway Tiled floor in the hallway, coming out into this other little hall here, into the kind of sitting area where they could just chill out if the evenings are drawing in a bit colder, you know. Have I missed anything down here? Uh, no, no, I haven't. And then up, obviously, into what we've just done. Um, and just a nice, warm feeling master suite. Gorgeous. So what I'll do is I'll get the bed this bathroom made up and just go around and just correct a few things obviously like the porch area that we said there I need to correct that a little bit more um but it's done my loves it is done there we go Strangerville is complete how crazy is this this has taken us a few months to get done and I'm very excited that it is finished because we can I can get my creative juices flowing in another world and I'm very excited about that very excited about that um, I'm going to leave you now. I'll see you tomorrow for Design Me Devon. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. So I'll see you then.